Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress and this is Cynthia D. Hilaire and today we are going to announce the winner of the monologue competition that we hosted. We saw lots of submissions, right? We enjoyed a lot of them. Um, so first, I... World. Mm -hmm. So first, I do want to thank everybody for taking the time. I know you took some time to modify the monologue or memorize the monologue, um, film, really appreciate everybody. There were a lot of really great submissions and we are going to be announcing the winner at the end of the video. Today, we wanted to talk about um, just some things that we weren't taught in college because we both went to college. Um, what was your major acting specifically or what was your major in college? Yeah, I majored in theater and I minored in um, mass communications and oh, I almost finished dance, but then I did it. Yeah, I feel like you told me this during mm -hmm. the first video. Yeah, um, I went into college to study acting specifically and then I also ended up doing a bunch of dance. So I ended up with an option in acting and an option in dance. By the end of it, they were like, you have enough credits, you just need to do this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> we were both saying how in college, um, they teach you a lot of acting, but they don't really teach you about the business. And that's such a huge part because you can be the most talented person in the world and still not make any money or really get anywhere because you don't know how to do it. So mm -hmm. What did you what did you do when you first got out of college? Um, well, when I first got out of college, I moved straight to L.A. <laughs> um, I spent like a month home and I was like, oh, I'm over this. I'm going to L.A. So I came out to L.A., you know, hit the ground running. I a lot of actors may or may not go through this, um, you know, background work, um, signing up for that. But I wanted to get my vouchers and validate um, getting like my SAG card. Mm -hmm. I as possible so I hit the ground running doing that you know I got like my part-time jobs when I moved out I was working as a summer camp counselor then I moved on to like a personal trainer you know really flexible jobs that Google basically told me like I would be able to like survive and like do acting with mm -hmm. um so it was really really cool very eye-opening first year I mean I had my first agent within my first year being here I had my first manager within my first year being here um I was sent out on some really cool auditions within my first year being here I booked you know shorts I got involved in a whole bunch of classes UCB um scene work so it was it was it was an interesting first first year in LA and like pursuing the acting going back to the business of acting what is something that you think in college they didn't teach you that you would want people to know as far as the business side how to be a business person <laughs> yeah um and I'd say that with like a little grain of salt because like our jobs, it, our job is not to be the business person, right? That's why we have like agents and managers and things like that. Um, but we do have a, have to have some skill skill set in it. We need to be able to know how to market ourselves, mm -hmm. um, how to maintain business relationships, how to you know network with these people. Um, and I don't. That's definitely something that wasn't taught in college, right? Like we were taught how to break down a scene. We learned all the great playwrights. Um, which and, is really uh, important. Which is very important. Like, yeah. We the craft, which is very important. Um, and then, you know, they would mention like, yeah, you have to do auditions and like you have to meet casting directors. But like, okay, how? Right? Like, how do you do that stuff? It's not forming business relationships is not as simple as like, we are all like at a, a mutual friends party and we like, talk to each other like you actually have to put yourself in those situations um you have to put more effort into it so yeah I feel like that was definitely not taught and it was something that like kind of in my face yeah here and I'm still learning how to do it today what what that made me think of was that uh acting is a career so you should come into it 
treating it like so sure you can get an agent without any experience but that agent's going to probably be a really small agency for commercials non-speaking roles you were saying that you did some background work i definitely have done a lot of background work because sometimes i'm not booked on anything and they ask to book me for background work and it's you know 350 dollars a day or something plus overtime so i'm gonna say yes to it especially it's gonna if it's gonna be like a week of that i'm like okay you don't put it on your resume don't put it on your reel professionals don't want to see that and i just want to you know make that aware uh, or people aware of that i definitely have done a lot of background work i definitely have done th things for free um, I've definitely negotiated more money into a project, like a commercial. Um, there's just a lot of things that you almost have to learn while doing them because we can tell that we can we can tell you, um, you know, treat it like a business. And you're like, no, 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 my talent will get me there. But then you will see eventually that you need to put in the work. You need to audition so, so many times. Something that we have in common is that we started in theater. And I think that's so important. You know, so funny, I was actually having like a little conversation with this with like um some director friends of mine people like think they can prove you wrong but i'm one of the one of the people that come with the facts like i study the trends i see what's happening and like there's no negating it theater does such a good foundational work for actors right and it's like rigorous training mm -hmm. right rigorous training learning how to to work with ensembles sometimes not majority of times but the formula way back when used to be like if they're like the top theater actress like they can translate really well on camera some of our favorites like viola davis like she came from theater actors who kind of start off on tv they don't necessarily translate very well to film there hasn't been um many examples of like that that actually happening but people who start out in film always can go back and forth and my favorite example again miss viola davis she's such and a good actress such a good oh my gosh uh her last movie ma rainey's black i don't know she's like yes girl it just gave me life for everything but <laughs> she she transitions very well back and forth into film and there's a trend right now with that happening right like taraji p henson same thing with angela bassett you know bare shoes a very very um strong film actress and then she like now she's popping off on TV. As long as you have that good foundation, I feel like especially with theater, mm -hmm. um, all these actresses that I mentioned graduated with theater degrees from prestigious um, colleges. Um, they do really, really well. So. Mm -hmm. And not to say that that's the only way where, that you can become like a talented actor is by going to school in theater, but it's just such a great in my experience, it was such a great way to start. Having a background in theater, I would suggest it to anybody interested in acting um, because I often get uh, messages or comments where they're like, oh, what advice do you have for me? Uh, I wanna get started in acting. And my advice is always to get training. And right now with COVID, it's still hard because there's not very many theaters that are open. But if you have the opportunity to go be in some theater productions um, or go take some like some course in a community college, university, high school that's a theater oriented, I definitely suggest it because it's a great way to discover your acting. Maybe we should move on to announcing the winner. And um, yeah, so Cynthia. Yeah. Whose uh, monologue competition or monologue submission did you enjoy the most? Well, because I want to do a whole story about it. We got a lot of submissions from yep. all over the place. We had someone from England, people from South America, India. Mm -hmm. um, so it was really, really cool. Thank you for all your submissions. I watched all of them. We had a handful, both me um, and Belhika agreed that there was like a handful of good people. Everyone did an amazing job. Um, but we both surprisingly agreed on the same yeah. person. <laughs> Uh, we both have the same top two people. We both have the same top two first people, and then we picked one. And that person is, can I get a little drum roll, please? <clears throat> can you hear that? Oh, Brown. Tracy the Brown, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. So 
So we are going to play the uh, submission for you guys. We really enjoyed her use of space, um, how much she really understood the monologue. Her performance was amazing. So here it is. Hello, my name is Terry Cita Brown and I'll be doing a monologue called Clogged Drain by Cynthia B. Hillary. Living with a white roommate. It's a hit and miss. And if you miss it, oh, that shit sucks. I once had a white roommate once say, I'm not paying to plumb the drain. That's you and all your wigs. I collect all my hair as I shower. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Heather? I don't collect my hair? So out of the entire year of us living here, I clog the drain all by myself. <laughs> out of the two times a month that I wash my natural hair and the one time a month that I wash my wigs, compared to your every other day necessity to wash that black mop on top of your head, you cannot possibly assume that I clogged the drain all by myself. But if, did you not want to be responsible for me and my wigs? So? I paid the full $40 to have the plumber plumb the drain. My therapist said that it was the grown-up thing to do in that situation, but I don't want to be grown, and that shit literally killed me. Not only did she overpower me in the comfortability of my hair, but now she was intruding on my finances. Roommates are supposed to go half, bitch, so go half. That's half of your needle-thin hair down the drain and half of my bouncy curls. That's half of your in-shower pee and half of my daily tears, half of your dead white cells and half of my life spent tending to my hair. Much like a drain, a home is supposed to be a safe place. A in the pocket hole that collects all the anxiety and frustrations and joy for the day. A titanium fortress that carries most of your inner thoughts. And as I decompress, mm, I feel safe and welcome. I can't do that if the bitch don't like my hair. And so Teresita, you are the winner of $200 plus a copy of a sit down with sin monologues with black girls. You'll get that honey. A hundred dollars um, will be in a form of a visa debit card um, to use towards purchases of anything you would like. And then a hundred dollar gift card to your choosing. Um, either if you want to participate in some actors play classes or yeah, with uh, Jackie Dallas, who does acting consulting. And I think of course will be in the description but Teresita I'm so excited thank you guys so much for submitting so many great talented amazing people and if you didn't win this time especially if this was your first time ever auditioning for anything please do not be discouraged acting is a numbers game I can't tell you how many times I've, audi I've auditioned hundreds of times um so I mean even in this uh, YouTube channel you're gonna have more opportunities because I'm definitely going to do this again in the future thank you Cynthia so so much I'm so excited that you reached out so excited about your monologue book and I hope that um you know we become friends in real life hopefully I get to meet you soon <laughs> and um of course all of the links to Cynthia's stuff will be on the screen and in the description do you want to plug anything else while we're still here um i hope you guys have a beautiful day thank you for participating on this journey with us um and keep fighting the good fight <laughs> yes uh and at the end of every video i feature another channel this is today's feature if you would like to be featured on my next video make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave me a comment thank you cynthia